Hey guys, thanks for joining us today on Paradise on Pennies. So today we're going to go on kind of a little exploration and we are going to see if we can try to build ourselves a bio stove. We've been looking at looking at them for a while now and obviously they're like a hundred some dollars if you buy them. So we figured instead of paying any money for it, we'll try to make it free of course first off and if it works out good then we can we can go from there. So today we're actually just gonna kind of go for a hike. We're out in the middle of nowhere again, um, with lots of mining areas and mining stuff around. So there's lots of cans and kind of their debris left around. So I'll take you with me. I'll pick up some stuff and I only have a limited amount of tools. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we can come up with and see if we can cook a meal out of it. But that's our journey for today. So follow along guys, we'll see what we can do. So as you can see, there's no shortage of cans to choose from, but the only thing is most of them are pretty beat up. So the trick is trying to find one that's in decent enough shape to work. You can actually find some that have like, you can actually read what they say. It pays to trade with, can't read what the actual name is, but looks cool. There's some other big ones in here too. Oh, right out there. That's cool. So, we'll grab a few and see what else we can find. Alright, so I found a few good things already. We got this nice, that could be kind of the inside of it, or the outside of it. It's a nice little pot. There's lots of like heavy duty, like if you had the right tools, you can make a lot of stuff out of this. But, still finding a lot of cool stuff up here. This one's Lipton Tea. Sounds kind of cool, but not useful for me, but still kind of cool. Hi, bud. Keep looking and see what else we can find. Alright, finding lots of sheet metal. I'm also finding lots of, like, big pieces of just kind of like rebar. Those are kind of heavy duty, so I'm going to collect some of them. That should come in handy. Well, and you also find a lot of those bigger stuff up here, so... If you had some tin snips or something, you could cut a lot of good metal out of there, but I have absolutely no tools, so we're going to uh, leave it for now, but lots of good stuff. All right, tiny dog. All right, we made her back to camp with our treasures here. So, we got some cans and stuff, a whole bunch of wire, this awesome rebar stuff that's really, really thick, and this uh, looks like an old, really heavy-duty umbrella that we might be able to tear apart. So. Um, that's what we got for supplies, and then these are my tools that I do have with me, so we'll see what we can make with, uh, with this. So here is my plan so far. Um, I'm going to use this bigger can for kind of the base, and I already ripped off the bottom of it, which was really, uh, rusty metal. So it's nice I had gloves, and I'm going to decide to, uh, like, poke some holes in it. I got one through it, which... Just used my little knife. It seemed to work pretty well, but I'll make them a little bit bigger. So that'll kind of be my airflow. And then I'm going to put this bigger one on top of that. So then your airflow will come in from down there, but the fire will be in there. And then I'll poke some holes inside, which you can see there's already some holes in it. So that shouldn't be too difficult. But that's my plan so far. So as you can see, I got some holes cut in the bottom piece there. So that should be good for some airflow. And then I also got some holes cut in the bottom of that so the air can come up into the little stove area. And it's kind of nice because this has actually already got some bullet holes on the side so I can use that. I'll uh, open that up a little bit farther so that's where I can feed the, the fuel through or the wood through. Okay, as you can see I got that little can inserted into the bigger one there. So just took a little bit of cutting and I actually cut the the rim of the little can off that was on the inside because it made it a little easier to bend around to get into the cuts I made on the side. So that looks pretty well. Obviously there's a little few holes in there from the rust, but that should work. And thinking about taking this wire and like poking some holes in the bottom and kind of zigzagging it back across so the fire kind of sits up a little bit off of the bottom. So We'll see how that goes. Alrighty guys, this is kind of what I got. I put those wires across the bottom there. 
but we'll see if that kind of keeps the flame up. This is kind of my setup here. Just use some rocks to uh, hold the umbrella thing up, so that should be pretty close to the pan there. Keep it off a little bit, get some airflow. So, everything looks good. We'll stock her up and see how she works. Well, and there you have it, guys. Seems to be working. It looks pretty good. It's just very light. It would be nice to have a little bit of weight on it, so when I put the sticks in, it's actually very wobbly. But, it's doing the trick, so. As you can see, you can make one for free. That was a pretty good deal. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.